Bowman here at BW1.com. I'm going to show you a great Windows 7 tip here. I'm going to show you how disk burning works in Windows 7. Disk burning isn't necessarily something new in Windows. You've been able to burn CDs and DVDs before in the past, but a lot of people don't know that these features are actually built into the operating system itself. Because a lot of people ask me, do I have to buy, you know, CD and DVD burning software when I get my new computer? Depending on what you're doing, you might not necessarily need to do that. And you can save yourself some money if you're doing the most basic of features. So the first thing I did here is um, I actually put in a blank uh, DVD um, R into my computer, into my DVD ROM drive, DVD RW drive here, and we'll just double click on it. The first thing it asks you here is uh, how do you want to use a disk? If you choose an option like a USB flash disk, it'll basically allow you to kind of save and edit, like it says there, basically as you drag content over to it, it's actually burning it at the same time like a USB flash drive, just burning it to it and allows you to sort of erase from it as well. It's very similar to sort of how the um, CDRW and DVDRW media work where you can burn something to it and then you can erase the disk and reburn over it again. It's very similar to that. It's compatible with most computers running Windows XP, but it, it could be cause some compatibility issues depending if you go into different systems. So you might not necessarily want to do that. Um, what I recommend for a lot of people is with a CD and DVD player, just burn the files individually and it can't be edited, you just burn it as it is, which which you're used to and it's massive. So when you burn to it once, that's the only time you can use it, which most people are used to. So you can change the disk tile up here if you want to. Click on next and it'll open up here and all you have to do is drag your content over. And once you've done that, it'll go, give this little boom pop up. You have files waiting to be burned to disk. I should also say before this, this burns, you know, the straight up files. This won't like burn like your uh, DVD movies if you want to have the movie author just like you had a DVD you know, like a regular DVD movie or anything like that, but that you actually do need DVD offering software. Windows does offer that and, and, and built into it the DVD offering software, but you have to go through that software to do that. This is basically straight up for burning files. So once you've done that, all you have to click at the top here is burn to disk once you dragged all your content over. You change the disk title, you want to choose a specific recording suite if you want to, and you to click the checkbox if you just want to close the wizard after it's done. You click next and it will begin the burning process. So that's pretty simple there. It's very simple to do and you, if you want to com complete it and you're done you just delete temporary files. It er erases all the content you had there before if you don't want to burn up this with the same amount of data on it. So that's pretty simple there. And another cool feature here that they added to Windows 7. By the way, in the last feature, that works for CDs and DVDs the same way. Another cool feature that they added is allowing you to burn ISO or um, images straight from straight from built-in Windows 7 right to disk. ISO files are basically exact copies of CDs and DVDs that are a, a, a file right on your desktop and it allows you to burn that to a new blank CD or DVD and it operate the same way once you burn it back on. So right up here I have an ISO file. All you have to do is right click it and click on burn disk image. Once you've done that this little menu comes up and you just have to choose the recorder you want to use and just click start and it I mean click burn rather and it goes right away and it starts burning your ISO image. You can check click the checkbox to verify disk after burning if you want to verify target image sure it burned right. But that's pretty much it right there. So it's very simple and it's built into um, Windows 7. It used to be a power tool in Windows XP and in, in kind of got lost in the shuffle with uh, Windows Vista, but it's a great feature that they added here in Windows 7 for those one off times that you need to burn an ISO file. If you're a type of person who burns many ISO files at once and stuff like that, you might want to go with a, a different ISO program that allow you to burn multiple ones at the same time. That's a feature I wish they would have added into this to allow you to, you know, choose an option and click on, you know, I want to do three or four discs at once instead of just being able to do one. But that's basically get yeah, that is basic image and CD burning, basic burning right there. It's really just a drag and drop process. It's very simple. You already have it built into Windows. If you need to do DVD offering, you might want to buy, a, you know, a bigger program such as like Nero or something like that. Windows does come with some DVD offering software, some basic software, but it might not be exactly what you want. So you might want something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more robust if, if per se. Um, but as far as, um, let's say you're using burning music files, you just can use your basic music program. Windows Media Player has it. You can just burn your, uh, your music CDs in there. You can use um, Zoom software if you have that. You can use iTunes as well that has built-in burning software if you just want to you know, burn music. So you can just use uh, those for your music. And if you're burning picture CDs, most of the 
programs that you use will have a way to burn the pictures in, a, in that specific way so that they work in a slideshow and such. Or you can just drag and drop them here to burn them right to file if you just want to have the backup of them right there. So that's pretty much how the built-in um, disk burning works. It's very simple. It has a, a lot of simple features, but, um, but the most common features that most people use. So I just want to put that out there. Make sure you guys see that. Make sure you use that when you're using Windows 7. So this is Bowman from BW1.com giving you a quick Windows 7 tip, which is disk burning, showing you how to burn an image, CVD and DVD burning. I remind you to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the RSS feed. As usual, check out the Ustream, subscribe to the YouTube page, and always remember, live your tech world in high definition.